Thanksgiving is just two weeks away. Whether you are hosting your family or friends, it is time to get organized. And Christopher has three apps that'll help us do just that. First of all, like, have I seen you before? Have we met? Yeah, it's been a couple months. I don't even know, like, <laughs> if I even know who you are anymore. Can I'm we still be friends? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm happy to be doing Thanksgiving ahead of time <laughs> rather than the week of Thanksgiving. Now, I tease you. Long time no see. I'm glad you're back around because we've missed you around here. Well, thank you. But this is a great timely topic because a lot of us are kind of thinking about Thanksgiving and how to get organized. I want to start with the first app, which is called AnyList. AnyList. Yep. And this is to help you plan. This is to help you plan your meal. Okay. So one of the big things about Thanksgiving is all the food, which I love. It's one of my favorite holidays. I get to eat and eat and eat, and I have wonderful food at all the dinners that I go to, <laughs> um, or Friendsgiving, family, whatever. But any list helps you search recipes. So when you're in the app, you can actually browse for a recipe, right? Now that takes you to the internet, which is really cool because then you can choose a recipe. And once you find a recipe, it actually shows up and you can, in the top right corner, I put a red circle around it, you can actually press import. So you're online and it actually imports it into the app. No way, so you're kind of keeping track of your recipes. Right. You have your own little database, right. cookbook, so, so to speak. Yeah, and then it shows up with all your other recipes. So after you actually have the recipe in the app, then you can actually go to the next section and it will allow you to select the items in the recipe that you don't have yet and uh -huh. it puts it in a grocery list. No way. So now you have a grocery list. So when you go to the grocery list, it actually categorizes the grocery list into different sections. Like based on what the dish is? Based on what it is. That you're cooking. Yeah. So on the grocery list, uh, and the next picture actually shows categories of what section of the grocery store you're going to go to to find that item. Oh my gosh, right? this literally makes it like step by step exactly. broken down. The cool thing is you can adjust serving sizes. So if the recipe is uh, one, uh, 10 people, right? You can actually change that and it changes your grocery list at the same time. So it does your math for you It too. does your math does for you. Does it also vacuum your house? No, and it does do... not. <laughs> yes. There's robots There's for that. just though. about like nothing it can't do. That's a super cool right. app. That's called AnyList. AnyList, Does it yeah. cost money to download? Good question. So it's free to download. You get five recipe imports for free. But the cost for it, if you want to do unlimited, is $7.99 a year. A year? Yeah. Okay, so we're fine. So, it's so download it for Thanksgiving and then exactly. it'll You can use it for Christmas. For it. You can use it yeah. for gatherings, other things. So no, it's a I great think app. that is a great idea. I love it. Okay, the next app we need to talk about is Evite. And right. this is to then send your invitations out once you've started planning. Right. And the great thing about Evite, which is actually a free app, um, is you can create your invitation. Like I created one here, eat, drink, and be thankful. Cute. And then I labeled so it Friendsgiving. The cool thing is, <laughs> It makes me look crafty, ah, okay. even though I'm not. You choose from a preset template. And then once you have that, you can invite your contacts. Now it goes to your contacts list. All you do is check. You can text, email, tweet, all of those options. And then once you have a guest list, the best part about this app is you can control your RSVPs. Uh, that's the important part. So you can part. see who's coming, who hasn't replied yet, and who's actually you're waiting on. Are you able to send reminders to people who, like, Utahns aren't very good at RSVPing, I found. With all the events that I've hosted, people don't RSVP and right. I want them to. And you can actually send a reminder. You can remind yeah. them about it. You can remind them about make it. Make sure that they get that. Yeah, and then if they really don't reply, call them. I know we are bad at that too. And that's, I think, in, in general public. We're bad at calling people. Christopher goes, okay, millennials, like, let's go back to the basics. We have technology. Dial on your use touchpad. It, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. And then last but not least, this is Skype, something people have heard about. Yeah. But for the people who can't be there. Yeah, for the people that can't be there or people that are overseas, download Skype, have them download Skype. That is a free way to reach out to them. And Thanksgiving is a very family centered, friend centered holiday, right? We get a chance to get together be with each other and be grateful for each other. So if someone's not there, reach out to them and you can do a video call on Skype. Okay, is there anything you have to do to prepare for that? Do you have to have an account? Do you have to program? You have to have an account, but okay. once you actually have the account, 
uh, it's really easy. You go to your Skype and then on the top right corner, there's a little picture of a video camera. Yes. You click on that and it will start calling that person and all they do is answer it's like easy. a regular okay. phone Okay, I have used it a few times, but it's yeah. been a minute since I've done that. So thank you for the refresher. Absolutely. Tech Life Coach is where you need to go to follow all of Christopher's wonderful tips and advice for all things technology. His information is right there on your screen. And happy Thanksgiving. I am grateful for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what would we do without Christopher? And come back again soon, please. Do. Don't be a stranger. All right. Don't